Hello, yeah, let's read one more Wikipedia page about uh, wage labor and after this uh, we will retell it, okay? Let's start it. Our English will be cool. Wage labor, also wage labor in American English, is the soci socio-economic uh, relationship between a worker and an employer where the worker sells their labor power under a former or informal employment contract. This transaction usually occur in a labor market where wages or salaries are market determined. Determined, okay, is uh, we know. Determined is what we know. Yes, in exchange for the money paid as wages, usual for short-term work contracts or salaries, in permanent employment contract, the work product generally becomes the undifferentiated property. What does it mean? Oh, Jesus. Yes. What is need to open our Google Translate? Okay, undifferentiated property of the employee, except for special cases such as the way vesting of intellectual pro property. Vesting. Mm -hmm. Of intellectual property parents in the United States, where parents' rights are usually vested in the employee's person they are responsible for the invention. Okay, a wage laborer is a person whose primary means of income is from the selling of the labor in this way. Okay, what uh, did we learn? We learned that we have wage laborer is person who wanna be near our employee. And uh, communication within worker and employer is uh, our relationships ship is called wage labor. Okay, characteristic in modern mixed economics such as those of the OECD country. OECD is what is the organization for economic cooperation and development? It's an internal economic organization with uh, okay countries. It is currently the most common form of work arrangement. Work arrangement. Okay. Also, most labor is organized as per this structure. The wage of work arrangements for of CS professional employees and professional contact workers are sometimes conflated with class assignments conflated conflated with con we have con conflated with class assignments the working class compares those engaged in the wage sellers okay class assignments assignments is uh, differences yes so that wage labor is considered to apply only to uns like unskilled, semi-skilled or manual labor. Manual labor is physical work done by people, most especially in contact of that done by machines and do that done by work animals. Is it most literary work done? Okay, various studies have shown that employees generally spend 1.5 to 3 hours a day on non-work related activities. That employees generally have shown Ah, okay. Types. The most common form of wage labor currently is ordinary direct or full time. This is employment in which a free worker sells their labor for an inde indeterminate time from a few years to the entire career of the worker in return for a money wage of salary and continued relationship with the employee, which it does not in general offer contractors in other irre irregular stuff. Continue relationship with the employer for a money wage salary. This employment, employment, when which a free worker sells their labor. 
in their minute from a few years to the entire career of the worker. Of contractors of the regular stuff. Something I understand, okay. However, wage about takes wage labor takes many other forms and ex and explicit as ex split explicit what as opposed ah expli explicit explicit as opposed to implicit implicit for example conditioned by local labor and tax law contracts are not uncommon economic history shows a great variety of ways in which labor is trade and exchanged the differences show up in the form of employment status a worker could be employed full part-time or in a casual basic they could be employed for example temporary for a specific pro project only or on a permanent basic Part-time wage labor could combine with part self-employment. It the state of working for one salary than an employer. The worker could be employed else as an apprenticeship. It's a system of training in new generation. Practitioners. Ah, apprentice is uh, in the rush uh, stajerovka. Yes, yes, I did right, correct. And how to pronounce it? Apprentice. Apprentice. Civil legal status. The worker could, for example, be a free citizen and in the trade labor. Is an employee within a system of unfree labor who is bound to sign for country. Okay. The subject of forced labor, including some prison or army labor. A worker could be assigned by the political authorities to ask. They could be a semi-slave or a self-bound to the land who is hired out part of the time. So the labor might be performed on a more or less voluntary basis or on a more or less involuntary basis in which there are many gradations. Method of payment, remuneration or comp Compensation. The work done could be paid in cash, a money wage, or in kind, through receiving goods and in kind, in cash, in kind, through receiving goods and or services, or in the form of peace rates. Peace rates. Don't know what is where the wage is directly dependent on how much the workers produced. Ah, peace rates, okay. In some cases, the worker might be paid in the form of, of credit used to buy goods and services, or in the form of stock options or shares in an enterprise. Method of hiring. The worker might engage in a labor contract on their own initiative, or they might hire out uh, their labor as part of a group, but they may also hire out uh, their labor via an intermediary diary, such as an employment agency to a third party. In this case, they yeah, is paid by the intermediary, but works for a third part, which pays the intermediary. In some cases, labor is subcontracted saver several times with several intermediaries. Another possibility is that the workers is assigned or posted to a job by a political authority or that an agency hires out a worker to an employee together with means of production. Okay, characteristic, characteristics and types, what I learned from it, that in the characteristic we have um, mm, information about our wage labor that uh, sometimes uh, many people spend uh, our uh, ha one hour and a half to uh, without our uh, ha ha one hour and a half uh, or two three hours to the job uh, with none work yes and types what we can form and uh, that in the our uh, contract 
we have uh, we have uh, positions of the employment status, civil legal status, method of payment, and method of hiring, and also we have also sub contracts inside of it. Yes. Okay, criticism. Wage labor has long been compared to slavery by socialist uh, slavery. Okay, as a result, the term wage slavery is often utilized. Labor economic is often util, util, utilized as a pejorative for wage labor. Similarly, advocates or slavery looked upon the compare comparative evils of slave society and of, of free society or slavery to human masters and slavery to capit capital and proceeded to argue persuasively that wage slavery was actually worse than chattel slavery chattel slavery what is chattel oh, okay we have only slavery chattel slavery chattel slavery is called traditional slavery okay Slavery apologized like George Fisk, who contended that workers only accepted to accepted to wage labor with the passage of time as they be, they became familiarized familiarized and inattentive to the infected social atmosphere they continually inhale with the passage of time. Ah, everybody don't like atmosphere of the inside of the inside with the slave together with his labor power was sold to his owner once for all the wave labor on the other hand sells his very self and that by fre ah he belongs to the capital class and it for to find a buyer in the capital class Karl Marx Okay, I understand that we have slave and we have also labor. Differences between uh, slave and uh, labor, that labor with, with uh, his own goes to job. And uh, slave with uh, some of the four, he... Slave is forced for doing job for the doing job okay according to noam Chomsky, analysis of the psychological implications of wage slavery goes back to engagement era in his 1791 book on the limits of the state action classical liberal thinker will m von ham Bolt explained how whatever does not spire from a man's free choice or is only the result of instruction and guidance does not enter into his very nature. He does not perform mm -hmm. He does not perform it with truly human energies, but merely with American mechanical extenses. Okay, I understand. Wilhelm von Humboldt wrote that all work should be with uh, desire of person, with uh, without uh, without instruction and guidance. Work should not be the result of uh, instruction and guidance. And so when, so when the laborer works under external control, we may admire what he does, but he despi despise what he is. Both the Mil Milgram and Stanford experiments have been found useful in the psychological study of wage-based workplace relations. Additionally, as per anthropology. Anthropologist David Graeber, the earliest wage labor contracts we know about were in fact contracts for the rental of chattel slaves. Usually the owner would receive a share for a share of the money and the slave another with which uh, to maintain their living expenses. Such arrangements, according to Graeber, were quite common in New World slavery as well, whether in the United States or Brazil. C. L. R. James 
Carolina Robert James. Okay, argued in the Black Jacob Black Jacobins that most of the techniques of human organization employed on factory workers during the Industrial Revolution were first developed on slave plantations. Okay, forced is slave plantation wars for Marxist labor as commodity, which is how they are regard to wage labor. Provide provides a fundamental point of attack against capitalism. It can be persuasively argued. Noted one concerned philosopher that the conception of the workers' labor as a commodity confirms Marx's uh, stigmatization of the wage system of private capitalism as wage slavery, that is, as an instrument of the capitalist for reducing the workers' conditions to that of a slave, it not below it, that his these objections of is fundamental follow immediately from Marx's conclusion that wage labor is the very foundation of capitalism. Without a class dependent on wages, the moment individual individuals confront each other as free persons, there can be no production of surplus value. Without the production of surplus value, there can be no capitalist production and hence no capital and no capitalist. Okay, what did I understand? What did I understand from this article? I understand, I I understood that uh, wage labor, I understood that wage labor is a uh, relationships between our worker and employees and it means not uh, slavery, it means that we have la labor, labor is a worker, labor who wanna work in the company and we have also employee employee is a man who who gives who gives a contract uh, to the our la labor and by the way about our uh, our contract contract contains in your self employment status is about what will be job about and civil legal status is i don't know what is sorry and method of payment and method of hiring and also inside of our contract we can we can contain more more uh, subcontact some contracts about this job and by the way why this job of uh, wage labor sometimes is not really contains uh, not really this job is not contain doesn't contain money why because uh, sometimes uh, workers labors our our labors spent from one point five uh, to three hours to the non work non work uh, activities and also we have some of the critics about this process Karl Marx wrote that uh, our uh, our world is something about slavery but uh, our labor is when person with his own desire want to work for other person and uh, Elsa what's more and also we have some of the researching from the one one uh, Wilhelm von Humboldt that he uh, that he explained and he explained that work with uh, ordering, work with uh, or work work followed to result of instruction and guidance is work uh, with uh, not really 
powerful energy for a person because he do he 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 will do this without really energy and uh, desire inside of him or her okay thank you so much for watching i hope you understand what is wage labor right now and i understand too for the russian is naomni troop truth thanks so much for watching see ya